previously had one good PvP, but now I'm suspecting we might have a better one as we have our WCS Current America champion playing off against a previous GSL champion. Yeah, the GSL of Season 1 this year. So Season 1 champion in Korea versus the Season 2 from America champion will face off here to decide who will be first place in the qualifier, but more importantly, who goes to Toronto in Canada. We started the day with 16 players in a double elimination bracket. Half the players have been eliminated now. We only have eight remaining with two slots available to go. So six players will be disappointed from this point onwards, but two will be over the moon. Good, t good stuff, good stuff. One of them is going to be one of these guys going. Uh, and then the person that loses this actually gets a second chance in the very next game that they play because they go down to the loser's yep. final. So they play two finals in a row. They yep. have, the, I mean, the winner, of course, just goes straight through. The loser plays two finals, two best of threes in a row, two opportunities at the same goal here. So mm -hmm. he does have that added benefit of playing well in the winner bracket, but the lower bracket has some devilish players down there. Classic, the most recent GSL champion, but is slightly underperforming yeah. recently is down there. Revival, who came in as the replacement for Tasia, who couldn't make today's tournament for whatever reason that was. Flash. Tudming is currently playing against TY. And then, of course, the winner of those go up against CJ Hero. So you've got a, a beastie set of players down there looking to tackle for that second slot. And I think the easy way to do this from this point on is just win this best of three. Just yeah. go through in first place. Don't even bother thinking about the players down in the lower bracket. Uh, and Zest probably had a little bit of time to actually watch that last PvP that we just had there. So he may be able to anticipate a bit of what Pig Baby is going to bring to the I table. I fully back Zest to win this. Yeah. For two reasons. The one you've just brought up, he mm -hmm. just watched Pig Baby play. So he's known that he's very defensive right now. So Zest won't be over aggressive. But Pro League Finals happened just a few days ago. Who did Zest play, even though he lost? played against Rain. Mm. He practiced game in, game out for that matchup. So he would have really honed in and trained Protoss versus Protoss before the Pro League Finals. That 100% will help him to play PvP yeah, here. Definitely. That was his complete focus. Let's get into game number one now uh, to find out which first player is going to be moving on to the Intel Extreme Masters Toronto. As we have spawned down to the bottom right hand corner, it's our WCS America champion. It is Pig Baby. And then up to the top left-hand corner, we have our Teal Protoss representing KT Rolster. It is Zest. And right now, they're discussing Kolaris. To regame. To regame. <laughs> I knew that would happen. But nice. this brings up a perfect opportunity to say that I love your haircut. Thank you very much. It reminds me, uh, someone's got a haircut recently. Did, did they? Wait a minute, let me think. You look just like Scarlet. Do I? You've oh, got, you've got this, the same haircut as each other. So if I got it done first, so it's okay. Did you? Yes. Do you have proof of this? Uh, I've been away for a while. <laughs> uh oh. D guys, do you not think at home that this haircut is very similar? I, I saw Scarlett's most recent haircut. She put it on Instagram. And is it not the same? Am I wrong? What you should do at home, because I can't do it now. I've got some games to cast. You guys are just watching. You've got two screens probably. I've got one, as you can see. The two faces, put them next to each other. Thanks. Then you'll see it. Thanks, Sean. If you didn't already. Hers is a little redder than mine, uh, which is normally not what I say about it other people. Matter. But there you go. It doesn't matter. Wait. <sighs> you have to tweet it out, and you have to tweet at me. Okay. I got to see this. Okay. And there's also a very special Polish man that wants to see this picture too. Yeah, seemingly so. And I know you guys know who works at ESL. <sighs> um, you do look great, though. It's a fantastic haircut. I'm trying Thanks. to go. Uh, my hair's not quite long enough yet, but I'm aiming for you and Scarlet. Really? I'm trying to get there, too. <laughs> that, that'll, be, uh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool, man. We'll be matching. All right, let's get into it. Game number one. We're back after the regame as we have spawning up to the top left-hand corner. It is Baby Pig. And then down to the bottom right-hand corner, we have our Teal Protoss. It's Zest. Zest. <clears throat> yep, there's... Uh, Carmack's now officially tweeted out that you do have the same haircut. Thanks, Carmack. Plus, there's a three-minute delay, so everyone that's going to read that tweet right now um, will not know. They have no clue what's going on. They're like, wait a minute. <laughs> but it's a good thing, because Carmack's putting it in their head, ah. where they're like, yeah, that's actually, yeah. He's and then they'll, they'll, they'll probably search it up anyway, and they'll be like, no, he's right. And then I'm going to bring it up on stream, and then everyone's going to click. Boom. It's there. It's there. It's done. 
Thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. Everyone always makes a big deal out of my hair. I don't understand why. Well, at first it was Jamie Lannister. Mm. And, uh, you know. and now it's Scarlet. And now it's Scarlet, <laughs> man. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the, there is words to describe you that I shall not use now as were used off stream. <laughs> wow. Wow. Anyway, let's, uh, <laughs> let's continue our course. Winner's final. Winner here goes to Canada. Double gas immediately, of course, coming in from both players. Both scouting coming in from both players. And this is going to be a good one. Definitely favoring Zest. You as well? Or Pig Baby? Yeah, I've got to go with Zest. I, it's more of, uh, you know, what you said is very, very right. But also, for me, it's like the gut instinct of, it's just Zest, man. It's just Zest. I think the Pig Baby, yes, he did well in WCS America. But for me, personally, I still don't think he's really proved himself to the point of, you know, going up against someone like a GSL champion. So, well, he's gone know. up against an Intel Stream Masters champion. Yeah, twice. he did well. I must admit, he did do well. But I mean, the way that Hero approached the matchup was very aggressive. Yeah, yeah. And he just got countered, and it was over. Like yep. that's the 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 brief way, the easy way to look at it. Zest, I would doubt, would play as aggressive as that. I think he's Zest overall is just defensively set up when it comes to playing StarCraft. He's always that in that kind of state of mind. And I think he'll probably play something scout heavy. This map is hard to be like for a fast expand build because it's so wide open. There's lots of ways to jump inside the main base and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I would expect Zest to not just go gung-ho in this series. Yeah, just uh, take it a little bit more methodically. I think Zest's probably very comfortable in his ability to macro in this matchup. So he should be okay if he goes longer. Uh, likewise, should Pig Baby be because Pig Baby's style, you know, as much as I felt as if he hasn't properly proved himself, you know, to the very, very highest stats, he's still very versatile in his play, and that's something that you can right. never take away from a guy like Pig Baby. Yeah, I mean, that, that's uh, one of the key strengths is not to be predictable like that and be able to yeah. mix it up. But Twilight Council coming in for Zest here, and Twilight Council for Pig Baby. Um, Blink, of course, should be the way that both of these go, but the way that this probe is moving down to the bottom left, we could see a Dark Shrine placed here. And against another Twilight Council is pretty big, yeah. obviously. Uh, and that's going to be a massive move for Pig Baby, potentially. I open sentry. But he's, he's not built a pylon down there, so I think mm. he may be just hiding that probe to come out and build an aggressive pylon later. You need to throw down that pylon straight away, otherwise you're not going to get the, the Dark Shrine in. Right? Yeah, so you're right. Should be blink, blink. And also, you know, it's because he didn't see a huge amount in his main, he may have gone down, but that's actually a not a very, very common Stargate location. So he may have been a little bit troubled, but, you know, if he'd have counted the pylons, he should have been okay uh, with that, unless Zesta cut, uh, like, some weird corners in terms of how he was placing his minerals and went for an extra pylon. But for now, this Hallucinated Phoenix is going to move out for Pig Baby and get a yeah. bit of a scout of his main. Well, so that's we'll the advantage it. that Pig Baby has because he chose Sentry first yeah. compared to Zest who chose a Stalker first. He can scout his opponent, therefore be defensive. But on the flip side, he's a unit down, which you can see now really coming into play. Yeah, and no force field uh, to really block the ramp because he spent everything on the Hallucination. So, uh, uh -oh. ooh, okay. So he just pull it back. He's yeah. delaying the Photon Overcharge from being used. And now he does see the Twilight Council as well as Robo. Yeah, both players exactly in similar positions when it comes to their strategy and build order, one slightly more aggressive than the other. At this point, expansion should usually come into play. Yeah. I doubt Zest can break this. It's going to be very hard, but he just walked in three Stalkers. Likewise, Dig Pig Baby. So they're very similar unit counts. Almost identical, apart from that sentry. Yeah. Uh, which, if it got some energy, could be a big factor. But for now, it doesn't really have the energy. So it's going to be micro alone. Zest gets the initial good trade for the first stalker. Uh, Zest is losing, though. Yeah, after all of that. It yeah, he needs to get focus. out of there. Needs to not lose. Ah, he's gone down a lower Ooh. than half health. Oof. Blink is so close for both players here. Is he going to trade off? He should be able to get one stalker. Oh, yeah. nice blink. I don't know what just came out of my mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, that was good. That was well done. But... This is very, as the Americans say, mm. dicey. Oh, um, yeah. Because one mistake can cost you the game at this point. The easy way to play this out is to fall back and just expand. But that's how cowards play. Zest is no coward. Not at all. More he, stalkers. He is, he is the true Kingslayer in Korea. Yes, he is. So, and he's not a coward. Well, you know what I mean. He has a good nickname. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, he's going to actually go down the ramp. He does still yeah. have Blink himself, so he can defensively Blink. Uh, and he does have that sentry at the top, just in case Zest gets very, very zesty. But for now, he's just going to hold on tight back to the bar. 
Yeah. Nothing going on with this pound. Did he warp in a zealot yet or something? No. Nope. nope. But okay. he will counter from that probably, whether yeah. it be stalkers or zealots, as you said. Uh, this mothership car was scouting around at the back here, so at least he's got that back at home, so he can do something with that. But there's the sentry now coming into play. It does have yeah, guardian that's shield. That's really big. Very big indeed. And he was also microing it back, so he knew it may get focused down. It now finds its way to the front, so it does end up dying off. Uh, and the numbers actually were but still in favor of Zest. Yeah, the numbers in favor of Zest, but there's a lot of units at the back that weren't firing for Pig Baby. It just simply wasn't a very good engagement. You see, there's like three or four stalkers not firing behind mm. Pig Baby's main line, and that's massive. Uh, Zest didn't have the, the Guardian Shield, but he had a better position. And it just didn't matter that he had the Guardian Shield there. And he's pushed back to his one base. And this is obviously very, very good for Zest from this point. He can uh, stranglehold his opponent outside this now because he's going to take a while to get up to the same numbers. Zest should expand while doing this. Yeah. Because y you can prevent your opponent from getting a second base. And now Pig Baby's like, oh no. <laughs> I just don't have the stalker number, so I just can't break down that ramp. Yeah. So a bit brutal for him here right now. The only thing that he can do comfortably is defend because he has an extra photon overcharge in that location, uh, ready to go once this first one dissipates. But look at the position Zest has. It's very hard to attack down into that. Yeah, very. So how does Pig Baby approach this game? He's stuck on one base. Simple StarCraft math tells you two bases is better than one base. Yeah. So if he's stuck on one base with an opponent going to two base, what is the answer? I mean, with the with the Nexus going down, that's investment for Zest. So technically, Pig Baby can try and claw back the numbers and then break out, but then he's got to somehow find a way to equalize the odds yep. of the other side. Even so. Immortal's beginning now for mm. Zest. That's another advantage that he's starting to, to build up. And don't even get me mentioned about the Forge that could likely come in soon as well. Yeah, Pig Baby. Oh, look at this. An aggressive pylon, aggressive forwards pylon. Uh, and Zest for now is going to keep a good eye on the front here. He will lose a pylon, so that kind of uh, is a bit annoying. And he may lose a second pylon, um, but the Nexus is going to finish. Uh, and eventually this economy is going to kick in and uh, really hurt Pig Baby if he doesn't do something soon. Yep, he's going to try and expand himself. Well, it looks like he's in the position to do that. He hasn't thrown it down yet, but he should do that very, very soon here. And Zest. Ooh. Cheeky monkey. Mm. As uh, Pig Baby could potentially move out, Zest would go in. In, out, in, out, shake it all about. That's what Zest gets done, <coughs> man. Pylon down here for that warp. And did he see that with that zealot? No, okay. So that was kind of close. Uh, but these four stalkers looking to pounce. Very, very. Uh, oh, look slow where Pig game. Baby is. Oh, as soon as he sees it as in the middle of the map. As soon as he sees it, he goes in. And yeah. he will deal a lot of damage here. Four Stalkers, just obviously one shot in these probes. There is a foot and overcharge there, a couple of sentries, but you will do damage. And there's two Immortals here. I don't think yeah. he's going to get anything done at the front with this. No, this is going to be a nice play from Zest. Really nice play. Set it up, waited patiently, and he's going to jump. Yeah, uh, and that's exactly what it is. Just patience, really paying off. Here Link's we go. Back. He knows he's there. He's on the other side of the map. All right. So how many probes can he get killed off? Even if just one or two actually die off during all of this, as yes. long as he gets Four, out with everything. Five. Six, Ooh. seven? Oh, jeez. It's look just a full just, sacrifice. Look at a simple move like that. Yeah. A simple move like that. Just 10 kills, like, that's massive because what are their pro counts? Roughly 20, 30 at this game? That's 20 to 35. You know, that's talking a 33% cut of income, Chorus. Yeah, that's huge. Absolutely huge. Pick Imagine baby. if your wage was cut by 20% or 33% in this case. Oh, perish the thought. Perish the thought. You wouldn't be able to survive. You know, you got rent and all these things. And that's exactly what Pig Baby has. He's got to pay upkeep for these units. I couldn't pay for the boat anymore. That would be... Oh. So that's a massive cut to uh, Pig Baby's income. And that's a be beautiful move there by Zest. And Zest is flying ahead because he does not have that pay cut. He's got the robotics pay, the forge, the immortals, the units. And then, yep, those immortals just holding on strong. He's even got the robo bay going down now behind this. So, unfortunately for Pig Baby, oh, he's trying to do the same thing, which is actually quite clever. There's no defense here. Uh, but aside from the Fortune Overcharge, but with those stalkers warping in, tries to get a few units, a few workers, but he has to get more than that to equalize things up here. It's a nice attempt. Yeah. Gets seven kills. Not quite 12, but decent. But Zest attention. controlling this at the moment. I mean, he's controlled it for the majority of that game from that very fight outside uh, the natural base of Pig Baby. And Zest is moving across now. He's got more units than his opponent has. He's got Blink. He, oh, actually, just slightly gets away. I thought we'd see one go down. One Stalker, that is. Plus one is the only thing that's really going for Pig Baby over his opponent. It will be done uh, a little bit before, but I mean... 
What's the incentive for now to Zest to really move out? I mean, he's got Colossi on the way. He could happily just build up a stronger army. I mean, he could finish it now, or he could just keep going and have a few Colossi out to finish it off. Yep. Sees his army moving out a little bit. Not really doing too much. He was looking for a third, I guess. Trying all that. But now the Colossus is here. And Zest, is he going to do the right thing? Expand. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep keep trucking. Keep, yeah, keep the wheel turning. Yeah. Sees that uh, with the hallucinated phoenix. And blinks up with a few of these stalkers. They die off fast, though. They really didn't do too much. Two workers died off for two stalkers. I'm not sure uh, that these trades are working out for Pig Baby right That's now. That's a lot of gateways. Yeah. And What's the uh, the worker count just by uh, 44 for Zesta? I mean, he evened it up, which is nice. Okay, so it looks like he's just he looks like he's going to plan an attack here. Obviously, five extra gateways, um, build a bunch of units. Any gas can be sunk into uh, a couple of archons at the front for a bit of extra damage, while or extra tanking. Sorry, while the rest of the army deals out the damage. And Pig Baby's going to have a hard time uh, defending this. He's got few units. He does have that plus one attack, but likewise, really, the Zest is going to finish up in a second as well. Yeah, unless he was somehow able to isolate these Colossi and kill those off fast somehow. I don't think that there's going to be much room for error here for Pig Baby. This is uh, going to be very, very difficult to hold on against. All right. 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 Zest, looking to end this one. And he's got Pig Baby's head. And now he's just looking to finish this off. Um, a very nice attack here. Got his shield up. The Immortals dealing damage. Stalkers obviously jumping around left and right. Pig Baby must defend this. If he defends it, this is actually a beautiful position for him. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Ooh. Shields down on the cost before the fight even begins. Okay, so he takes a big couple of thermal lance shots oh, there. Oh, that's bad. Archon's trapped at the back here for Zest, but at the same time, his power behind this army is so strong compared to what we're seeing for Pig Baby. And Pig Baby doesn't even have the better position in this. He's all clumped up next to his Nexus. Yes, yeah. he has a photon overcharge, but who really cares at this point when all his army is taking so much splash damage from the Colossi. Yeah, this game's over. Um, well done by Zest. GG. Map one. And... Uh, Gets one back on WCS Korea here over the Americans. He does uh, deliver that victory, but it is a best of three, not just one. So Zest now just one single game away. And I think the most important part of all this, obviously it's great to have Zest go to Toronto, but I think a lot of his fans, Katie Rolster or Zest, really felt a little bit sad, saddened, I think, at his performance in the industry master Shenzhen yeah. tournament in China. Because he was going up against Tasia, who did, of course, just go all the way to win it. Mm -hmm. But everyone was saying that Zest is going to beat him. Zest is going to beat him. Tasia never plays against these Kessler players. Tasia can't beat these guys. These are gods among men. Yeah. Kessler players are the best. But he lost, and he didn't perform well at all. I mean, he, he started off well, but he, he did crumble, and he felt the pressure. But this time, a potential rematch could happen. You could see that Tasia zest game again in Canada. But Zest, I mean, there's no doubt if he qualifies from this, he's he's going in as a top three favorite for oh, the yeah. entire thing. Definitely. And it's not even just the fact that he lost that series versus Tasia. It was the scrappy nature of the series that was kind of disappointing, really. Right. Like, we were expecting a bit more from that series. Obviously, Tasia had prevailed, but Zest didn't... He didn't look like Zest in that series, I felt. Yeah. And if you think about the, the way that Zest plays in Pro League, he's very consistent. You think about how he yeah. qualified to play in China anyway. He qualified through this very same qualifier that we saw last time. So he's able to bring these consistent performances. But sometimes, yeah, he does not quite be able to deliver on the big stage. But another chance, another opportunity in Canada in front of that massive Canadian audience. I would love to see it. Love yep. to see Zest there. Yeah, Canada is going to be crazy. Anyway, let's get into game number two, as we have. Spawning down to the bottom left hand corner, needs to bring it back in this series. It is Pig Baby. And up to the top right hand corner are Teal Protoss. One victory away from a ticket to Canada. It is Zest. I'm just going to have a quick look down into the low bracket for you guys, obviously, full screened. I like to do that. I like to watch StarCraft if I'm watching it on my TV rather than my PC. I like to have it full screen. Uh, and then I don't know what's going on for the rest of the tournament because there are <laughs> other games going on as well. And I'm kind of lazy to use my phone as I just like to watch the game. So down in the lower bracket, if you haven't been following it, Jadong did lose out to Revival, two games to zero. Um, another big result you'd be interested in is that TY was able to beat Todd Ming. 
Mm -hmm. Beat him two games to one. So the games that we have in the bottom, we're in losers round four down there. I guess that doesn't really make much sense for a lot of you guys. You're probably like, what is losers round four? But we have Hero, CJ Hero, going up against TY is a big game down there. It's a rematch, actually, from the first round of the winner's bracket. Yes, you're right. Which Hero won two games to one. Yeah. So a rematch down there. And these guys are getting very close to being able to get to that second slot. And then the other game is Classic versus Revival, which is currently in favor of Classic, the most recent GSL champion. The winner plays Flash. All right. So that's a big game as well, as we start to get closer and closer towards the finish of this qualifier. But uh, nothing out of the ordinary here for both of these players. Just standardized builds from both. As in these kind of scenarios, it does become quite tense. This is a lot on the line here. Are you going to be watching the tournament? Or are you going to be playing in the tournament? I think they want the playing option. Well, with Pro League down <laughs> yeah. in off-season. They don't have much to do. <laughs> they don't have much to do. I mean, the Kesper Cup's coming up. GSL, of course, is running. But Big Baby in WCS America. Uh, I don't think he's playing in Kesper Cup either, so... Mm. I'm not sure. I haven't actually looked at that list properly yet. No, I haven't. I, uh, when it, uh, as, as tournaments come up, then I kind of like look at the list, and it's like, oh, that guy's playing in it. But no, I haven't looked at it fully. Uh, but anyway, Zest now sending out his probe scout, as is Mr. Pig Baby. And... We oh, have no, a no Pig Baby is playing in it uh, through uh, winning season two in America. Ah, okay, he was qualified through that. Right, yeah, so he's playing yeah. in it. Um, all right, so second gateway coming in from Zest. This gives him just map control. He's, ob he's obviously got a, an extra gateway over his opponent, which means he's able to build more units. It's as simple as that is. Um, and from that position, he can choose his deviation and where he wants to go with his tech choice. But it is slowed down in comparison to, for example, Pig Baby, who's off a single gateway uh, and straight into the Twilight Council. Yep. Did not see that during all of that. Uh, we had a little bit of lag, so my screen bugged out for a second, but... There we go. Uh, so Stalker on the way for Pig Baby, just to keep himself well at bay. And the Twilight Council goes down for Zest as well, just a little bit slower because of that second gateway opener from him. Yeah, so the advantage that Zest has is just a little bit more active, but yeah, I yeah. don't think it's that worth it here <laughs> um, because of the way they shaped up against each other, but he obviously doesn't know that it's not worth it. Yeah, there is... Uh, who's the barcode? It keeps lagging. Chinese ESL caster. Okay, it is... Uh oh, wah wah wah! Interesting turn. Pig Baby chooses Dark Templar. Hmm. So, Ooh. if you think about the slow down choice from Zest, two gateways to Twilight. Ooh. Ooh. He's a sneaky guy. If Zest does not get detection fast in this game, because he's already slowed down with the way that he opened two gateways, remember becomes interesting. Yeah, it there's does. There's no sentry for Zest. He went Stalker, so there's no way he can scout inside the main base unless the Mothership Core goes in, which is not going to happen. He has a pylon at the front. He's going to be aggressive. He's only got two gateways. That, yeah. What is he actually well, being aggressive with? Yeah. Well, three gateways, but... Not no way are done. He's going to have Stalkers, but it's not. they're not ready yet. And the Dark Shrine is over halfway complete. And because of the way he's playing this aggressively, I think he's just going to save all his gas for units and not get Robo. But the thing is, even if this gets attacked that natural, Pig Baby's like, all right, cool. Oh, Dark Temple on your base, you have no detection. Yeah. Bro, like, uh oh. You're in trouble. Uh oh. Where's the pylon? It's on the natural. It's like it can hop over when the yeah. pylon completes. It can be warped in on the natural here. If Zest doesn't realize soon, with the amount of money that Pig Baby has as well, floating overcharge to keep him safe for an extra 60 seconds, he can warp in a DT defensively and aggressively. Yeah, look how much money there is actually banked up for Zest in the end as well. So all of it's on Chrono the Boost DTs into are Stalkers. In. The DTs are in. They're already in. Oh, jeez. He has nothing. He's uh, got he, has nothing. To, he has to make a robo down here, yeah. actually. But then he can't defend. No. Uh, I mean, not he can't uh, attack with his units because there's DTs. And now it's like. That noise. No, 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 no. No, that noise. This is what every StarCraft 2 player says when you hear that noise. No. Especially when you've got no detection. <laughs> I mean, it's it's you have you can't see these units; they're invisible. Yeah, there's an aggressive. You okay, could, GG. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's over. Yeah, it's it's as simple as Nicolar. It's how StarCraft games work. You can't see this; you can't kill it. Um, so one one. All right, going to game three uh, for these two. And Pig Baby does fight back against Zess. So it's good to to see that he doesn't just keel over and be like, "All right, this guy's better than me. I can't beat him." Uh, already thinking about the second place spot, he does put up a fight, which means now a single map is the difference between going to Canada, potentially, well, it is going to Canada, and potentially not going to Canada, should I say. Yeah. 
So it's a big game, this next one. Very big game. And it can happen as quick as that. <laughs> as quick as that. I don't think that's going to happen in this game now after it's been revealed during this best of three. But you never know. Merry-go-round will be our next map. We're already getting loaded into that as the countdown's begun. So let me, let me put it in a way that people might understand differently. Um, we're playing a ping pong game. Yeah. You're a ping pong champion. I like ping pong. And you beat me easily. Okay. The second game we play, Carmack puts his hands over your eyes. You don't see the ball coming, and I, and I win the second game. Oh, Carmack. And now we go to the third game. Who's more confident? You? No, you. You're the world <laughs> champion, and Carmack had his eyes over you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Damn it, Carmack. <laughs> What I'm trying to say I, I is... I lost all of that halfway through. <laughs> I don't know why you couldn't get that. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that Zess is obviously going to be feeling very confident here because yeah, the, yeah. the move that was used was a very cheeky and sly move to get the victory to Pig Baby. So despite it being 1-1, Zess should still feel confident, Claris. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Dr. Sean, for that analysis. <laughs> all right, let's get into game number three. <laughs> I don't know why I lost that at all. I am so sorry. But anyway, up to the top left-hand corner, we have Pig Baby, our WCS America champion. And down to the south, we have our Protoss. Teal Protoss, in fact. It's Zest for KT Rollster. Yeah, obviously the example is extremely exaggerated, but it, you know, that's the, the point I wanted to bring across. That's how I, it is. I, feel, I don't think Zest is going to be bothered by that second game too much. It's more like, oh, <laughs> all right, whatever, man. I'm coming for you game three. All right, let's see what he's going to do. All right, he sneaks that probe out with that. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Zest qualified in first place for Shenzhen, right? The last one? The yeah, Asian I think qualified so. qualified first place as well? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Well, equal first place. Because it was three people right. because it was in the Asian region. Yeah. So, equal first place with Innovation. He's looking at a back-to-back -back first place in the qualifier, mm -hmm. which is very impressive considering the difficulty of these qualifiers. We have double gas opening for Zest back behind all of this. Only one gas so far for Pig Baby. What are you up to, little fella? Well, with just a single gas here, um, he could get the cyber cool down and then take a later second gas and be on a very similar pathway. Yeah. But obviously just slightly less when it excuse me, comes to his gas income. But the thing that shows me that it's not going to be aggressive is he's used all his chrono boosts already. So it's not like he can rush anything out. The gateway mm. is the same time. I would imagine he throws down the second gas. Yeah. Go into it that. has to be. It doesn't make any sense if it's not. Yeah. And the way it works out, three in this gas to start things off where we've only had two in this first one, three in this next one. Technically, the gases are quite even right now, but Zest takes a little bit of a lead uh, in the end because his would sound so early. And Pig Baby sees all of this, so he knows what's going on at least. Yeah, it could be like a two-gate expansion or something like that. It's just a slightly more mineral-heavy uh, play here for Pig Baby. Uh, it's a two-gate something, whatever the case. Yeah. It's two gateways down for Pig Baby. Now you can make a choice. Do you try to expand off this? Do you try to be aggressive off this? You don't really react as much with a two gateway. You already go one way or the other. You either go ahead and just take an expansion off double gateways, a bit safer, or you go pretty intense. Mm. And we'll see if Zest can actually spot this out. He's already getting that probe in and having a look around. So he sees one gateway, can wiggle his way onto the back as well and see the second one. If it goes a little bit further, uh, he's not going to choose to. That's kind of weird. Um, He's anticipating the units popping out really quickly, but they're not getting out. So doesn't really spot exactly what he wants to. Well, instantly one gateway coming in, uh, one Twilight Council coming in for Zest, one gateway, one Twilight Council. And now it's kind of flip sides, fl you know, reverse from yeah. the previous game where Pig Baby's a little bit slower. But one thing to note, two units here, Chrono boosted out compared to Zest in this position, did not get those two units and actually added on the Twilight Council. So we're going to see three gateways from Pig Baby, very aggressive against Zest, who's trying to get up towards Blink fast. Yeah. If Zest gets to his destination of tech choice, whether it be Blink or DTs, he's in great shape. Yeah. He actually just counters his opponent very nicely, but he needs a Mothership Core to buy the time to get to where he needs to be. If that Mothership Core recalls back, there's no photon overcharge. Mm. How does he buy the time and get to where he needs to be properly? He goes in as like, Oh no, one, two, oh no. And Chrono Boost into the Psychor as well. So now, how the hell does Zest, he has to recall back. How does he defend this? Yeah, it's probes. gonna be very difficult. It's, he somehow has to- Does he have to lower the income that low by killing probes that, that, you know, Pig Baby can't build that many units? Well, he's back, but this is a very weak Mothership Core at this point. It's already being focused down. Pig Baby has got a really good start out to this game. There's three Stalkers here, but where are the other ones for Pig Baby? Look, They're not the on the way. The two aren't even finished. Yeah. Oh, wait. 
the mothership core. Uh, oh no. Oh. And, and Zess hasn't lost the stalker yet. No. What? And he just keeps going. What is this? How he hasn't lost a stalker. He's been using these probes to like buffer. kind of buffer. Yeah, all and now he's while. got a lot of stalkers. The gateways are online. Oh my. How did he do that? I don't know. Um, he's a wizard. Well, he's, he's using these probes excellently here. And now he has higher stalkers on a similar gateway count. Kill it off, stalkers, they get warped away. Oh doing? my. Oh my. This is so good for Zest. What is and going on? Blink is not even that far away. No. Uh, he's actually just killing off the rest of these stalkers. He has a pylon over the oh, other side of the map. Stalker. Oh, oh, you're a god. Oh, pig baby, you are gone as well. <laughs> like, you're a god, Zest. How does he do it? He's just absolutely owned him. Yeah. He's actually owned him. And uh, now he's got the same higher stalker count and blink. He actually just owned him. Even a higher probe count. He, he <laughs> killed the same amount of probes as he used to buffer. So they were on the same income to yeah. build the same amount of units. It was just a beautiful, that was actually beautiful. Uh, really, really good hold by Zest. He doesn't know about the pylon as well as the stalkers amassing, but now that he has stalkers with Blink over the other side yeah. of the map, he just has a natural advantage. He's getting the robo in case his DTEs. He's just going for the kill. Wow. This is just... I thought he was down and out with the how yeah. the builds were shaping up, but the way in which he decided to do what he did and controlled it. Jeez, Zest. They're just killing pylons. I was going to underpower one of the gateways as well. Oh, actually, this one pylon is powering three gateways. So. It's stalker. <laughs> uh, probes don't count anymore. It's stalker versus stalker. How many yeah. stalkers are there for each player? Eight versus seven, but the seven but blink have blink. And zealot. Yeah. And a zealot, which buffers a lot. So. All right. One more stalker gets walked in, so it's a, an additional stalker, but it's blink versus no blink. That's huge. Yep. And that's no probes against 11 probes to buffer as well. I mean, Zest so. has got this in the bag right now. Yeah. Wow. What a game. It's a, it's a very intense eight minutes of a game, but... What a game in itself. Zest just shows how strong he is in terms of decision making and control as well. Don't forget about that. The way in which he controlled them and buffered with those probes. Yeah, and with the money that he's he can actually build a Nexus over here, he's completely yeah. fine. And it looks like <laughs> Zest at this moment is going to be that guy. He's going to be that one. That's again. the ultimate diss. If he actually just made a Nexus in this main, yeah. like, I mean, and why not? Like, there you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pig Baby sees it. Yeah, and at this point, Zest just, I mean, take the high ground position. You can go attack. You can do anything. As long as he doesn't mess up with his control. Yeah. He has Blink, remember? Kills off one Stalker, gets out. Look at that. Gets the shields back. Didn't take any hull damage on Waits any of those Stalkers. Blink's back up again and fights again. You're Beautiful. You're done, Beautiful. Pig Baby. Beautiful. Beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-Full. He is good. He is good. Yeah, he's just got this one in the bag. Um, GG. Yeah. Well done. Zest qualifies wow. for Canada. He's going to two Intel Stream Masters in a row. And he played at Shenzhen in China. And now he plays in Canada, Toronto. You Canadians, if you're even awake, which you probably aren't, he's coming to Toronto. You say he's going to two in a row. I wouldn't be surprised if he just keeps going to every single one considering these kinds of performances. It's really well done. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic to see uh, such a good player like Zest be able to uh, go through and be able to compete. And That's it's very right. important for him too. Yeah, he needs those points. Needs yeah. those points. He's, he's top 16 already, but to make sure that he definitely goes yeah, yeah. Uh, to BlizzCon is uh, important to everyone. All right, so that does it for our winner's bracket in its entirety. Zest advances on to the Intel Extreme Masters Canada. Sean, do we have any updates on I'm, the lower bracket? I'm getting there. Flash versus Classic, oh. Hero versus TY or lower bracket games. I think we'll cover one of them yeah. and then cover the rest from there. I think that's how it works. Yeah, I think so. We'll find out in the break. All right. So, guys, join us after the break. When we're guaranteed a PVT, it's going to either be Flash versus Classic or Hero versus TY.